In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some super cute spring outfit ideas that were actually put together by you guys. I recently went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to give me some occasions to make outfits for. After lots and lots of scrolling, I put together this list of the themes that seem to be the most popular. And there seemed to be a concerning amount of you that wanted to see an outfit for killing your husbands. And well, your wish is my command. So hope you enjoyed today's video. There's nothing that I love more than going to coffee shops, and I'm so glad that you guys are on the same boat. Of course, I had to put together this cute little outfit for those warm spring days that you just want to take a walk to the coffee shop. Maybe you're going on a coffee date or you're planning on meeting your soulmate there, whatever the occasion is, this outfit is perfect. I had a lot of you guys asking to make an outfit for a day that you just want to be lazy but still look cute and I feel like this is the perfect outfit. We got this like comfy just casual look going on. We just threw on this like oversized hoodie with like the baggy mom jeans. It looks cute and it also looks like you put effort into it but you really didn't. Like this requires little to no effort. I live for these kinds of outfits. <laughs> Of course, we had to put together an outfit for a date night with ourselves because if there's one thing you need to know about me, it is that going on dates with myself is my specialty. On these kinds of nights, I like to look cute, I want to feel spicy, and this outfit just does that for me. Okay, so I got a lot of requests from you guys asking me to make outfits for confronting your cheating ex-boyfriend or making that boy regret his life. And first of all, who hurt y'all? Who did it? I don't know why I got so many of these, but your wish is my command. So, we're going to be doing a little corset moment with a leather jacket because we're bold and we don't care. And we're just gonna let our hair down because we're bad bleeps. And we're gonna be scandalous. And we're gonna wear some of the chunkiest boots that we own. <laughs> Next, we got a lot of requests asking to do a fancy dinner night look, evening in Paris type of vibes, and I got you. Because I wanted to keep these outfits realistic, I wanted to go for more of a simple look. I decided to wear my bandeau top and pair it with these off-white pants. It's just like the perfect casual look. I feel like this is the kind of outfit I would want to wear on a warm spring day. I don't know. I'm loving the vibes. <laughs> So, a lot of you suggested that I do a picnic outfit, and as many of you may already know, I love midi skirts, especially wearing them to picnics. So, of course, we had to do a little midi skirt outfit. I recently thrifted this, so a lot of you may already recognize it. Next up, we're going to a field to pick flowers and mushrooms. According to you guys, I don't even know if there's such thing as mushroom picking, but that sounds interesting. So that is the move. So this outfit is what I would most likely wear if I went to a strawberry field and I went strawberry picking. We got this little pop of pink with this black mini skirt, this white fluffy bag. I've been really into these like cute little hats and I feel like it's just like the perfect fit if I were to go to a strawberry field. a concerning amount of requests from you guys asking me to make outfits for attending your cheating ex's funeral, killing your cheating ex, killing your husband, just killing men in general or just attending funerals and are you guys okay? You know what? No, it, it's understandable. I know where you guys are coming from, but are you okay? Should I be concerned? Anyways, of course, I had to make a cute little outfit for you guys to attend any of those occasions. So, I thought this was like the perfect outfit. We got an all black look with some cute knee-high boots. This is like a little outfit to attend a funeral or even just kill your cheating husband. Both will work fine. And of course, we got the cute little skull tights to represent your ex's death. And we just gotta let him know that we're thinking about him. We have him in our thoughts. It's just like the perfect little touch, you know? We brought back the little fur sweater, super cute. The whole look is just tied together very well. You just can't go wrong with this look. Mm -hmm. 
I love the fact that so many of you requested that I do an outfit for gardening. Like if there's one season that you should be picking up this hobby, it is in the springtime. Anyways, this was the perfect excuse to whip out the green zip up vest. I've literally just had this sitting in my closet. I haven't had a reason to wear this out. And now that I'm looking at this, I should probably do some gardening and wear this outfit. I feel like I would look super cute. Next up, we're going to the bookstore. I also thought this outfit would look really cute for going thrifting or going crystal shopping, as some of you also suggested. I wouldn't say that I went all out for this outfit just because I like to be comfortable when I'm doing these kinds of things. So just throwing on an oversized sweater over like a t-shirt and some low-rise jeans, I thought looked really cute. And of course, the tote bag. We cannot forget the tote bag. So, would this video really be my video if I didn't put together a cute grocery store outfit? As you guys know, going to the grocery store is the highlight of my week. It's like the one place that I get to dress up for. So, of course, we had to go all out. This is actually my current favorite outfit. I am obsessed with this cardigan. Quickly interrupting this video because we have a word from our sponsor. Thank you to Wish for sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard about Wish, it is one of the largest e-commerce marketplaces in the world. They have a huge variety of affordable products on their website. I believe they have over 150 million products on their website, which is kind of crazy. I remember having an obsession with Wish because of how entertaining their site is. Literally, the amount of things that you can find on there is actually insane. You could literally go on Wish and find the craziest things on there. They have the cutest selection of room decor. They have some really cute clothing accessories. I've even seen they have a lot of cute kitchen stuff. They even have a lot of cute Sanrio things and like plushes. Honestly, the possibilities of the things that you can find on there are endless. So I quickly wanted to take you guys along with me to look through Wish and show you how it works. And maybe we could even find some really weird stuff on there because you never know. So right when you open Wish's site, it's really easy to navigate. Once you spend a good amount of time on here, Wish actually creates a product feed that is personalized to you. As you can see, I was doing some scrolling and Wish is already recommending all of these products that I personally would actually be interested in. I was looking up to see if they had any cute room decor. They have some cute humidifiers, these like super cute mushroom lamps. As you can see, they literally have the randomest things. They even have these like super cute fishnet ties. I feel like these would look really cute with an outfit. They even have these super cute Sanrio stickers. Like, come on. I spent like five minutes on Wish and they already know me too well. But seriously, these are so cute. This is definitely the kind of website I could spend hours on. Literally, if you go to the side, it gives you so many categories that you can look through. They have like makeup and beauty, accessories, gadgets, wallets and bags phone accessories, household supplies. At this point, I'm convinced Wish literally has everything you could possibly imagine. Now that I've showed you guys the basics of Wish, if you guys are interested and maybe want to go check Wish out, I'll have a download link at the top of my description for you guys to go check out. Again, thank you so much to Wish for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into the video. I got a few pretty specific requests from you guys, one of them being to put together an outfit as if I was in a 2000s high school type of film. I don't know what it is about this skirt and jacket, but they're giving me major Y2K vibes. I had to put them together. This just looked like the type of outfit I would be wearing as I was opening my locker in like a 2000s high school film. I don't know, but I like it. I could definitely see myself wearing this. <laughs> Next up, we're going to a business meeting. I got a few suggestions from you guys telling me to put together a business looking outfit. I'm telling you right now, this is as good as it's gonna get. I would not be able to take myself seriously if I was wearing anything more businessy. So of course, I had to go for something on the cuter side, something that actually went with my aesthetic. I don't even know what my aesthetic is, but I've been seeing a lot of people layering tanks over these like dress shirts on Pinterest and I love the look of it. I decided to also pair this with some pinstripe pants. If I were to ever go to a business meeting, you will catch me wearing pinstripe pants. They're just essential. If you want to look cute to a business meeting, this is definitely it. Okay, someone suggested going to your kitchen. Yeah. Yes. This is such an important event in a lot of our lives, so of course I had to put an outfit together for this. We just got this little comfy outfit. Sometimes the walk from our room to the kitchen can be a little cold, so we gotta throw on a little sweater. Love. We got some cute little leg warmers. I love this. I feel like this is such a cute outfit. It's like just like a regular outfit with a pop of color, keeping us warm, just like a simple little outfit to walk to the living room, the kitchen, wherever in the house. 
So my go-to outfit for when I don't feel like putting effort into my outfit is just a matching hoodie and sweatpants. Literally, that's it. This combo is undefeatable. Next stop, we're going shopping at Sanrio or going shopping for Squishmallows. Literally the only two things that I'm good at. You guys seem to know me so well. Of course, I had to put some extra effort into this outfit. I had to throw on the My Melody bag. I wore this cute little pink skirt to match with it. And to make the look not so dramatic, I just threw on this basic black cardigan. And of course, we got my knee-high socks with my Mary Janes because I've been loving the look of that combo. You just could never go wrong with it. So that was pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed already, why are you not subscribed? Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload. I have so many uploads coming this month. I've actually been posting twice a week. In case you haven't noticed, kind of proud of that. Make sure to go check out my recent videos if you haven't already and go follow my social media so you stay updated with my life. Love you guys very much. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you. I read all of your guys' comments and yeah, that is pretty much it. Love you guys very much.